All right, I went to Walmart. And I got the good stuff this time. All the good stuff. And more of that pyro crap. Right, guys I gave up on trying to find a much longer boat like this at Home Depot this is the boat to come out the engine and as you can see it's not even long enough to stick out so I went to Home Depot and I just did not think I was gonna find a boat to match and I found oh by the way I found out this is a half inch coarse thread um something i forgot what it was but anyway the point is i found a net i don't need a net right yeah i know but i bought them in case i mean i, I might need them somewhere else how about i found the boat a boat that is long enough to go in and stick out problem is it's not an all thread so that's why I bought these uh, well I'm probably gonna put some washes on it um, maybe I can put the boat in and tighten this down and I don't know I figure something out but the point is I found the damn boat that's what amazed me also um, I found some all thread bolts, right? But guess what? This head was flat, was smooth. I don't know what the hell you call it. It had like lugs right here. I guess it was supposed to lock in place, but I don't need that. I need a bolt. Also bought. Oh, by the way, they only had one of these left. Turns out I was about to curse. Then I found, I re looked up under there and I found this box. It came with five. So I guess I had to buy the whole box, right? Whatever. I bought some washers. Also, I should have bought eight of them, but I should have bought eight. Anywho, so let's um jack this thing up and see can we um hook it up to the engine stand today. It's like five now. I want to stop at six. I plan to ride my motorcycle. Have y'all seen that fine ad? I thought it was a white female, but it's not white. She's like a foreign girl. She don't even speak English, but she is fine. She look almost like a white man because she don't have any chest, hardly, but she has much bottom. I mean, she's got something to sit on, but she rides, um, a sports bike she does donuts and burnout I mean she is she is hell I mean she is hell on the bike I mean she makes me want to learn how to walk and the last time I tried well I ain't gonna say the last time but I've tried to walk my ZX-14 twice and I about killed myself each time I wrecked real bad here's what happened one time right there 13 stitches and I scarred up this part of my arm. And luckily I had a helmet on because I didn't even notice till a few weeks later, the damn helmet had a gash 
on the side of the helmet. That could have been my head. I think about it. it bust the helmet. I didn't even feel it. I didn't even feel that part. I felt this part and I felt that part, but I did not feel that part at all. Anywho, uh, let me do this right here. I don't want to screw in. Come on, screw it in at work. Yeah. Don't tell me these damn screws don't fit. <sighs> damn screws don't fit. That's still part of it. This screwed into the thing at Home Depot. Now this happened to me once before. I screwed this into the damn thing at Home Depot. It screwed in just fine. These are coarse. But they screwed in just fine. Man, I don't get it. This is what gets on my damn nerve working on the car. Now apparently, these are coarse. These are fine. I got the receipt, so I'm gonna try to return them. All right, y'all. Round wherever the hell round this is. I went back and I bought some. I went back and I, I put the bolt in a metric gauge and it's that bolt, I think it's an M12, M12 by 175. Let's see what it's screwing in. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, so we got that screwed now. And it's not five inches. This is 110 millimeters. I don't know exactly how is it five inches or not. I don't know. I guess I well, no, I'm a little longer than five inches. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Son of a bitch. Damn brother boss. Despite what you've heard, I don't like being on my knees. All right, so. Well, hell, we might not need, well, I'm gonna need the washer to on the back of here. Should I put a washer on this side? Yep, I'm gonna have to put something. This song um, threads are running out. I think I got two more washers. I mean, I know I got two more washers. All right, so we got this on. Three more to go. Well, I found one. Hopefully, it don't mess up this damn thing. So 
So I still need three washers for here. And hell, I might have to go for it. This gonna be even. I don't have no more, so I gotta go back to Home Depot. All right guys, I hope you can see this. I decided to make sure that torque converter was didn't come out. I decided to pull it out because it was hooked, still hooked to the flywheel. I thought there was three bolts, but it was four bolts. So I'm gonna pull the torque converter out. Get me here because I don't want to hook my back. Make sure this is the little shaft that's supposed to turn the pump. I think that's turned the pump. Anyway, I wanted to take the torque converter out. It make sure it's all the way in. Cause um uh, <clears throat> nothing stupid that happened. Well, I guess the talking work can sit right there. I'll cover cover that up so I don't even go up in there. Also I wanted to check to see was there any oil in there and it looks pretty damn dry it's pretty dry it's pretty dry I might spray a little dub I mean engine clean in there and see can I get I mean it's pretty clean it's really no need for me to do that but I'm just so damn anal I want to get that out damn door. I think I will. Don't want to die from fumes. Oh shit. Did it hurt the hood? Now, was that even worse cleaning? Probably not. But like I said, I'm just being a little anal. Does that make a difference? Nope. So I just want to be a little anal. It do look a little better. I'm going to spread that again so you can get some of that out. Yep, now I'm just being a little anal for real now. show y'all some bull stuff you're not gonna believe 
because this leg and that leg is shaped in the A, that leg, it wouldn't come together. Now you probably say, if I had to put this loose, I could have spent it around and hooked it up that way. Well, I could have spent it around and bought, bought that in this way, but I didn't feel like taking it loose. And I came up with the bright idea to put a jack up under here. And it's supporting it pretty good. I just want to turn the video on in case it fall. I'll catch it on video. We're going to unhook this here. We're going to unhook this here. Nothing but the jack is holding it. Huh? Oh, look at that. Trying to grab. Trying to grab already. Trying to grab. All right, my plan is to pull this away. And I don't really want to go on this side, but it shouldn't fall. Now I gotta unhook this leg. Got the locks in. So if the jack fall over, it shouldn't um, shouldn't hurt anything. Don't remember having this much problem with the other one. Alright, so now let's let the jack down. And the stand should hold. The motor. Voila. Took some ingenuity, right? I think I'm gonna call it the night. I've had my excitement. Oh, by the way, this bearing I think is gonna really work. There's a bearing in here, and when you pull this out. This should turn over pretty easy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but.
Did it break? I'll be damned. Look at that. Look how cheap that is. Look how cheap it is. Ain't that a bee? Ain't that a bee? Harbor Freight, y'all. Harbor Freight. We gotta get some super glue. You know, can't glue it on because it gotta come off. Oh well. It's heavy, but it's a lot easier to turn in the old style. Well, guys, I guess folding this up does take up a lot less room. And did I hit the damn comma? I guess it didn't. Yep, that does take up a lot less room. And hell, I wonder can I take it into the house? Would have fit in the house. That's another story. Um, so I guess we will start on this thing now. Let's find out. Um, I guess I'll take the head off. Well, no, I gotta take the time. Well, take the valve cover off, then we take the um front cover off. Now I gotta get a damn puller for this um thing. All right, guys, first, I guess I'm going to take off the coil packs. It's supposed to be bolts here, but I didn't put them on. I just put these four bolts in. It's just a coil pack. It just holds the core down onto the plugs. It's not like electricity is going to blow this off. So I don't know why they had to put all these bolts in there anyway. I only put four. 